Da Vinci XI1, and this is the Triton 72. I'm going to show you today how to hook up a Da Vinci wand to the XI cycle on the Triton 72. You'll notice this detachable piece here. This comes as a part of the accessories specifically for the Da Vinci wand. It has two nozzles to go in the flush ports on the bottom of your Da Vinci XI. We're going to hook that on. It goes in there and it's snug by a rubber band on the bottom. Once that is connected, you're going to make sure your distal tips are completely open as much as possible. And you're going to find your shelf on the Da Vinci, excuse me, on the Triton 72 that says XI. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says an X and an I there. And you're going to put this in and you're going to plug it into the flush board. Once it's connected to the flush board, you're going to put your drawer in. And if you'll notice on the Triton screen here, only the bottom two on either side of the Triton allow for Da Vinci cycles. Da Vinci cycles are preset for 15 minutes, being the minimum amount of time that they can go into ultrasonic or go into uh, sonic. So it's already set for 15 minutes. Um, this cycle is non-negotiable, so you can't change it. It's already preset and then you would just hit start. At the course of starting the machine, you're gonna notice it goes off on an alarm before it goes down. This is gonna allow for cavitation to take place inside the dimension wand, and it also allows for a flushing of uh, the solution inside the dimension wand, as well as a burst of air to make sure that those um, lumens in there are flushed out. So on this side of the Triton 72, this, under this hood is where our filters are located. Our filters have to be changed according to IFUs once every eight hour shift. Uh, but we've chosen to do once daily. So you would unscrew this nozzle and your filter is here, it's located here. It comes white and upon you taking it out after it's been soiled, you'll probably see a couple of stains like so. Um, and that's completely normal uh, every eight hour, but we found that within a day, um, you really don't get much more than this amount of residue. So we've chosen to go once every day. This should be done at the start of your shift. And this just twists right back on, screws right back on, like so. Another of the um, fun capabilities or the great cleaning capabilities that the Triton has is also, um, it does lumen. It does uh, ophthalmic instruments, black instruments. It does regular instruments as well. You can just load those into the um, pans themselves. As with Lumen, uh, Lumen instruments, regular Lumen instruments, non-Da Vinci, you would just take up the connector and twist this in onto that port, flushing port, on let's say a wick applier. And then you would, of course, attach this portion into the actual Da Vinci basket, or the uh, Triton's basket. Okay? So, this uh, machine is capable of flushing out, I believe, 72 lumens at one time, thus the Triton 72. Um, but only the bottom four baskets can be utilized for Da Vinci um, at one time. And when you're using the bottom four baskets, it will not allow for you to use the top baskets at all. So they're inoperable during the time of you running the Da Vinci cycle on the other four. Another important part of the Da Vinci, um, excuse me, of the Triton, is the Triton can be tested using a sauna uh, check test, excuse me, a TOSI test, or this one is, um, yeah, getting a short ultrasonic monitor. 
And so this blue portion here is just simply a blue portion, just like you will find on a um, on a sauna check, you know, that you will use in a washer. They will be red with the cow's blood. This is just a blue, and it represents blood on an instrument. And so you will put this in a holster, and this should be loaded on the top shelf of your triton in about the middle. And then you're going to put that in, and you will put this on, I would say, a 10-minute cycle or whatever you decided was your minimum amount of time that you would do regular instrument. So a 10-minute cycle. After it goes down, it should come up with that uh, blue residue completely gone. And if it's not gone, you should be able to rinse it underwater, and it should easily go away without you using any type of friction. Um, so that pretty much concludes my small in-service of um, the Triton 72. Another feature I want you to remember is that any codes, uh, any alarm codes, can easily be factory reset. Okay? And then you will go back to menu. Or operator, I'm sorry. Um, but if you run into any errors, there's also an enter code, and that code is 9713. This is on any Triton 72 um, product that is sold. The factory reset code is going to be 9713. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in to SPD today.